Okay, um, today we are going to answer one of the questions that uh, one of our readers sent to us on how to um, deal with account um, receivables in QuickBooks. So, in this um, short tutorial, I'm going to take us through the process of um, dealing with account receivables and how to uh, generate an account receivable, account payable, sorry, um, how to generate an account payable report and all that. Now you, you should know that um, account receivable is like a um, summary of all your vendors and their balances. So it's just the opposite of account receivable. When you buy from your vendor and you um, actually agreed to pay later on in the future. So the transaction becomes a payable balance which is an amount you're supposed to pay to set your transactions and all that. So if you have a um, list of all these transactions that you've actually entered into with your suppliers, these are things that give rise to account payable balance. So in this area, we're going to discuss how you can track your account payable balance and all that. Like I said before, account payable balance starts from your vendors. So what you need to do first is to be able to enter your vendors' balances. Your vendors' balances are your service renderers or your product suppliers. So here you will see a list of all your vendors, like here you see open purchase order which shows all the orders you've sent to your vendors and they are yet to probably respond to it. So you open bills, open bills will show you a list of all the transactions that you've entered with your suppliers and the amount you get to pay for. That's exactly what open bill. Then you can see overdue bill which is sending as our open bill which means all the transactions we've entered into with our vendors are yet to be paid for. So, because they've actually surpassed the period within which they're supposed to be paid, that's why it's become overdue. So here we see paid in the last 30 days. That's are the those are the amount that we are yet to pay. Sorry, these are the amounts that we have actually paid so far to the vendors. Like from here, we see that we've not paid any. So when you go to that section, you will be able to see list of all the vendors that you have. You know that so system shows you list of end vendors here you can track their balances now these balances here is showing you the amount due to each of these vendors here so when you go down here you'll be able to see so all these amounts i will call the opening balance if you're just starting out and all that so i'm going to show us how to enter these balances so to enter these balances all you need to do is go to your new vendors when you go to new vendors so it will show you list of um, a field that will ask you to enter a vendor. So what this field helps you to do is to be able to enter new vendors and their outstanding balances. So here you could enter the name of the contact person here, like Mr. Mike, and you can enter other names. So what's the name of the company? If Mr. Mike works for like GT Bank, so you could enter GT Bank here. Display name as either Mr. Mike or GT Bank. So you say Mr. Mike. So here you enter the address of the vendor. Now, another important thing you need to know here is how to be able to track the opening balances. So, after entering all the details here, so you come down to these opening balances. So, it is the balance you enter here that is going to sum up to give you your account payable balances. So, you will enter 29,999 here. As of, you enter a conversion date here. You can always make reference to one of the videos when I talked about conversion day which is the opening balances here so here times like if the supplier has a payment policy these are the periods within which you are supposed to pay back the amount that amount of products that you requested for or the services you have enjoyed so here you could see net 60 days net 30 days net 15 net 10 days now if your own option is here you can always add new so we could go to add new to enter our own period so we could put 34 days here which means our suppliers give us 34 days to pay or after every transaction so we enter 34 here then you click save when you click save it appears here so we could see here we have 34 days here so account number is are optional so the important fields you need to fill here are the contact person here the name of the vendor that's the company then you can enter the opening balances very very important other ones are optional then when you come here you click save after clicking save, you will see that the vendors have been added here. And let's confirm that you could use this quick search box to enter Mr. Mike. So you could see here Mr. Mike. When you click Mr. Mike here, 
to show you the details of me so you could see the opening balances so this is the account payable balance which shows the amount you are supposed to pay this particular vendor here so to non generate what we call your account receivable report which shows list of all the balances you're here to pay your vendors you will go to your report section when you go to the report section here then you could use this quick search box here to enter vendor vendor so you can see vendors balance summary and vendor balance details or transaction list by vendor but what we want to see is vendor balance list so the vendor balance summary so this will show you list of all the vendors and their balances here so you can see so this is where our total account payable is coming from so this particular balance is also called your account payable balances so you could edit the header you could customize your reports and all that so these are all the list of vendors like you can see we have mr mike which we just added here so if you want to see details of each of these transactions you can double click on it double click on the figure then system will drill down to see you can see mr mike here this is what we actually enter so as you enter into transactions with mr mike and you enter them on your system system will begin to track all those transactions here so this will give you the vendor balance by detail now to now go to vendor balance in terms of the report section now you could also enter vendor balance details so this will show you each vendors and a summary of their transactions so this is where you can see from this vendor here we have the summary and all that so this is your account payable balance let's go down to the header here so we could come here and put our account balances so you can see we've changed it account view balances and all that so if you want to print out you can go and print if you want to send it by mail you can come and put your cursor here to send it by mail if you want to do a printout and all that so here so if you want to actually customize in terms of reporting oh i don't want to check all that you can actually drill down by either today this week this month this year this financial year today but see there are so many of the date period you are really looking for if your own date period is not actually here you can actually use the custom date period so that will be able to help you so you can come here as of which period so and all that so this is just a summary of how to check your account payable balances in QuickBooks.